You know what's bad? Being really excited about your Halloween costume and your friend not getting it. But you know what's worse? Buying something online and then finding out you could have gotten it for way less. You know, that happens once to me and then I'm always thinking I'm overpaying when I shop. So luckily, I have Honey. It's a free browser extension that saves you money by scanning over 20,000 internet sites like Amazon and Target for coupon codes and other discounts when you're shopping online. The holidays are coming up and I definitely want to get my friends and family the perfect gifts, but I couldn't resist buying myself this lip stick from Sephora as a little holiday treat for me. And honey saved me money because it automatically applies the biggest savings to your cart at checkout. Saving money with Honey uh, makes me feel like the surviving heroine at the end of the horror movie. If you're buying gifts this holiday season, then you need Honey. If you're not, you probably know someone who is, so do them a solid and tell them about Honey. Honey can help make sure that you're getting the best price for whatever you're buying. It's free to use and installs in just two clicks. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash SS. That's joinhoney.com slash SS. Hey, I'm Markia. Want to hear something scary? The Carousel. Fall is in full swing, and what better way to celebrate than visit the local fair? Pumpkin patches, fresh popcorn, and maybe even some fairground rides. Just be careful which ride you go on, as shown in this next story, inspired by a submission from Indigo 38. It was that time again, time for our town's annual carnival, a well-loved autumn tradition, despite the odd mishap or disappearance that would occur. The carnival was always welcomed back each year. I'd be going with Brian and Anne, a couple of wallflowers, but also the only friends I had from school. The sun was setting as we headed inside the carnival. String lights in every color decorated all the booths and rides. The smell of hot dogs and funnel cakes wafted through the air. The crowd was thick, and everyone's attention was scattered, so I reached out and slapped a little boy's tub of popcorn out of his hand. The fluffy kernels flew up as I tipped my head back and laughed at his shocked face. Anne and I wanted to ride the Ferris wheel first, but Brian didn't want to, saying something about loose supports and the tired worker at the controls. Looking at it, it did seem like the whole thing was going to fall apart, but I wasn't about to back down. I teased Brian until we were all finally loaded into the Ferris wheel car. The wheel turned, taking us up, up, and over the carnival. I loved heights and looked over at Brian. I started making our car rock and squeak. Brian covered his face with his hands. Stop, stop doing that, he exclaimed. I laughed at him as I peered out across the carnival. From this high up, I spotted an old carousel hidden behind some trees. It was lit up, but nobody was near it. No line? That would be our next ride. It was further away than the other attractions. It was stark out now and quiet. And Brian and I approached the carousel. It was surprisingly rusty, with chipped paint and some of the lights crowning the top were burnt out. Brian and Anne stopped as I walked closer to get a better look. The horses had seen better days and they were worn and rusted smiling figures dancing along the center circle. In the center column of the carousel were faded portraits of laughing clowns. This one seems really messed up. I'm out, Anne said. Well, I hadn't walked out here for nothing. I wasn't scared of a kitty ride. Jeering at them both, I boarded the carousel alone and vaulted onto a Palomino horse. As soon as I did, the lights of the carousel glowed brightly and cheery music began to play. Creaking to life, it started to turn. I grinned as the music got louder and my horse rode up and down, around, around, faster and faster, until Brian and Anne were blurred figures among the trees. The carousel kept twirling, faster and faster. I tried to move, but my limbs felt heavy and stiff. Out of the corner of my eye, it looked like one of the dancing figures had started moving. But when I looked right at it, they were all still. I wanted to get off. I slid off the horse. I was spinning so fast. I was so dizzy. Something grabbed me. The dancing figures. While I wasn't looking at them, they had been moving. But not only them. My mouth stretched into a wide, disbelieving grin as the laughing clowns and the walls came to life, reaching out, grabbing my other arm. And I 
started being yanked between the dancing figures and the laughing clowns as the carousel spun faster and faster and the music got louder and louder and I was being pulled by both of them harder and harder. Anne and Brian watched the carousel mouths agape. It was so blurred they couldn't even see their friend. Something wet and warm splashed against Anne's face. She pressed her hand against her face, and looking down, she saw that it was blood. Brian screamed as an arm was flung in front of him. Finally, the carousel began to wind down, horses slowing as the music faded. The blood splattered across the carousel. Anne and Brian's screams trailed off into the distance. I stood frozen and rust amid the strange figures trapped on the carousel, my last wide grin frozen before it could become the scream I meant for it to be. My body was torn apart, but my soul would stay and ride this carousel forever. Thank you to all of our patrons, especially Brian, who had a character named after them in this episode. If you'd like to join our VIP program, visit patreon.com slash snarled. Hello, my dark darlings. Oh, my favorite season, Fall, is finally here. Now, I don't know if you know this about me, but I love to change my clothes depending on the season. So I'm always buying new clothes, which does not help a lot when it comes to economical things. So thank goodness my favorite online thrift store, ThreadUp, is such a perfect fit for my fashion meets economical tendencies. In particular, I had just bought a Banana Republic purse and only cost me $32.99. Originally, it was around $98. So if you love brand clothing, they have over 35,000 brands like Coach, White House Black Market, Anthropology, and so many more. Plus, uh, the clothing is gently used. Some clothing arrives and it still has the tags on. For a limited time, ThreadUp is offering Something Scary listeners a special deal for an extra 30% off your first order when you go to threadup.com SS. That is on top of the already low prices, so hurry up and take advantage. That's T-H-R-E-D-U-P dot com slash SS. Threadup.com slash SS for an extra 30% off. Terms apply. Want more Something Scary? You can hear more stories over on the Something Scary podcast, available for free on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. The links are in the description below. If you'd like to submit a story, send me an email at somethingscary@snarled.com. Like and share this video if it gave you the chills. And don't forget to subscribe to Snarled and turn on the bell for notifications. And if you dare, follow me on social media. Until next time, my dark darlings, sweet dreams.